ഫുൾ എ പ്ലസിലേക്കുള്ള വഴി ഇനി തനിയെ തുറക്കാം സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ടു ദ്ലാപ്സ് ചാനൽ റിങ് ദ ബെൽ ബട്ടൺ ആൻഡ് ഓപ്പൺ സക്സസ് ഇസ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസി ഹലോ വി ഹാവ് ലേൺ റിവേഴ്സിബിൾ റിയാക്ഷൻസ് ടുഡേ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ഡിസ്കസ് ദ ക്യാരക്ടറിസ്റ്റിക്സ് ഓഫ് റിവേഴ്സിബിൾ റിയാക്ഷൻ ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ദിസ് ഗ്രാഫ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് എ ഗ്രാഫ് ദാറ്റ് റെപ്രസെന്റ്സ് എ റിവേഴ്സിബിൾ റിയാക്ഷൻ ഹിയർ ടൈം ഈസ് ടേക്കൺ ഇൻ ദ എക്സ് ആക്സിസ് ആൻഡ് റേറ്റ് ഓഫ് കെമിക്കൽ റിയാക്ഷൻ ഈസ് ടേക്കൺ ഇൻ ദി വൈ ആക്സിസ് ഹിയർ വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻസ് ടു ദ റേറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഫോർവേഡ് ആൻഡ് ബാക്ക്വേഡ് റിയാക്ഷൻ ആസ് സൈം പ്രോഗ്രസസ് as time progresses the rate of forward reaction decreases and rate of backward reaction increases at which point the rates of both forward and backward reaction become equal point a so in a reversible reaction the stage at which the rate of forward reaction become equal to the rate of backward reaction is known as chemical equilibrium Now let us see what are the characteristics of chemical equilibrium At equilibrium both reactants and products coexist The rate of forward and backward reactions become equal at equilibrium Chemical equilibrium is dynamic at the molecular level What does it mean that is a system reaches equilibrium not because the reaction stops but because the forward and backward reaction takes place at the same time with same speed even at equilibrium the reactant molecule reacted to form product molecules and the product molecules reacted to form reactant molecules hence chemical equilibrium is said to be dynamic equilibrium at the molecular level and another characteristics of equilibrium is that equilibrium is attained in a closed systems closed systems are one in which nothing new is added to a system in equilibrium or nothing is removed from the system in equilibrium that is chemical equilibrium is possible only in a closed system hope you have understood chemical equilibrium the scientists Lee Chatelier proposed an important principle related to chemical equilibrium known as the Lee Chatelier principle when the concentration pressure or temperature of a system at equilibrium is changed the system will readjust itself so as to nullify the effect of the change and attain a new state of equilibrium this is known as Lee Chatelier principle here the system will readjust through forward and backward reactions now let us discuss the influence of pressure volume temperature and catalyst on equilibrium of a system we have learned that ammonia is prepared by haber process look at the equation of this reaction n2 plus 3h2 reversibly gives 2 nh3 it is a reversible reaction isn't it here what will happen if we increase the concentration of nitrogen we have learned le chatelier principle so according to le chatelier principle the system rearranges by converting the increased amount of reactant into products so here the rate of which reaction increases when the concentration of nitrogen is increased forward reaction that means the reaction in which nitrogen gets converted into ammonia right now what will be the effect if the ammonia produced is removed continuously from the system the concentration of ammonia gets decreased as a result of this more ammonia will be formed that is the rate of forward reaction increases so we can say that the speed of forward reaction increases as the concentration of reactants increases and the concentration of products decreases now let us complete the table given here more hydrogen is added to a system at equilibrium as a result of that the concentration of reactant increases and rate of forward reaction increases 
Next, more ammonia is added. This will increase the concentration of products and rate of backwell reaction increases. Ammonia is removed. This will decrease the concentration of product and the rate of forward reaction increases. More nitrogen is added. This will increase the concentration of reactant and rate of forward reaction increases. I hope you have understood the effect of concentration on equilibrium. We shall discuss the other factors that affecting the equilibrium of a system later. Bye.